Welcome to Morning Prayer, I'm Phil Manton. Do you know who your friends are? How about your enemies? In Philippians 3.18, Paul says that many live as enemies of the cross of Christ. Have you ever wondered who these enemies might be? The dictionary.com defines enemy as a person who feels hatred for fosters harmful designs against, or engages in antagonistic activities against another. An enemy is an adversary, an opponent. Well, one possible identity of an enemy of the cross of Christ would have been those of the Jewish religion who viewed the cross of Christ as a curse, and they were actively hostile against his followers, including Paul. Another possible enemy were pagan Gentiles, Romans, who saw a saving Christ, as, a saving cross rather, as foolishness and disruptive to their culture, and they persecuted believers. But another possibility we might overlook are those who profess Christ with their lips for salvation, but refuse to adopt the self emptying, servant oriented, other serving, obedient, cruciform mindset of the one they profess. No, they weren't actively hostile towards Christians, but their lifestyle betrays the mindset of Christ. Paul describes them as earthly-minded, self-indulgent belly worshippers walking on the road to ruin. That, that's my paraphrase. What he says in verse 19 is, Their destiny is destruction, walking on the way to ruin. Their God is their stomach, belly worshippers. And their glory is in their shame, self-indulgent. And their minds are set on earthly things. Even in Paul's day, he was dealing with the health and wealth prosperity gospel, which was and still is totally opposite of the mindset or attitude of Christ. They avoided suffering at any cost. Instead, they focused on a Messiah who will make you healthy, wealthy, and wise. And if you don't become healthy and wealthy, that is, if you're suffering, it's because you don't have faith. Earthly minded. So Paul is calling the Philippian believers not to become enemies, but friends of the cross of Jesus Christ, fully embracing his very mindset. That's what it means to love God with a whole heart. Perfect. Let's pray together. So Father, we are reminded today of Jesus' word to his disciples, you are my friends if you do what I command. You have commanded us to deny ourselves, to take up a cross and to follow you. And we confess, Lord, our tendency to simply grab and protect and live for ourselves. I'm not so sure that we ever imagined the possibility that we who confessed Christ as Savior could ever be enemies of the cross of Christ. But if we're living for us and not for him, then it doesn't matter what we profess with our lips because our lives always tell the truth. So forgive us this inclination, Lord, and set our minds in the self-emptying direction of your Son, in whose name we pray. Amen.